A business archive is a memory of the business. It charts the expansions, developments, innovations that make us the company that we are today. The archive is essentially one enormous evidence store that proves where we've come from. The records show how we've changed, innovated and survived. Business archives are, are created for any number of reasons. Um, one of them has to do with uh, certain record keeping that's required for, for firms. Um, a lot of it has to do with financial transactions, bookkeeping, all that sort of thing. So there's, there's a legal requirement for, for firms to have certain things. Secondly, there are commercial issues. Corporate heritage is very, very important. Obviously, history and heritage and authenticity uh, can be real drivers uh, for growth for the business. Also supporting those marketing and innovation projects, um, you know, whether it's a, a new product or a new pack design or whether it's actually um, a legal case and protecting our trademarks, the archive can play a role in all those touch points for the business. And authenticity means a lot to consumers in, in this at this time, so having a really genuine narrative based on history and heritage that can be authenticated by an asset like the archive is really important for us. The archive is a fantastic tool for stakeholder engagement. I don't think you can underestimate the value just a small snippet of history brings to a conversation, that it can bring emotional responses and it really helps engage with the public. Well, business is very important to the country and I think it's something that, that we forget. It's business that makes everything. Trying to capture the evidence of how people lived in the past, what affected them, and it's business that's the biggest influencer in people. So capturing the archives means you can get an opportunity to understand how people were living. The records are used by all sorts of people. They're used by teachers who bring working parties in on projects. They're used by people on family and genealogical history because you can trace families through and these things too. But they're mainly used by people, um, students and professional historians and economists and historians who are interested in the labour relations, who are interested in the cost of living, who are interested in the working conditions and all of that kind of thing. So it's, it's really a, a cross-section of society. Different interests will use the same records for different purposes. So we were actually brought to the archives uh, for a group project that we have. And we were actually looking into the business links between Scotland and Cuba in the 19th century. Uh, and it's, as it turns out, the material that was contained uh, in the archives here turned out to be the backbone of that presentation because there's the archives uh, of Murley's Watson and other sugar making, uh, sugar manufacturers. It's very easy, very accessible. You can ask for things in advance and they're very accommodating. And also if you come in and you have an idea and you're looking for something else, they're usually very accommodating and trying to help you find it uh, at least amount of time. Archives are an important for anything to do with primary sources or even wanting to add that extra element to an essay. Uh, archives are really important, so I expect that I will be here again.